right, welcome in today, guys. I got a brand new basketball project for you guys. Do with a basketball cart. We're gonna do a step-by-step -step basketball court and then design it up and fancify it however that you guys want. Okay, so how we are gonna start this off is by doing a full basketball court. You can get a ruler, you can get some tools that might help you. Maybe a ruler might help, a protractor, you can do some things to trace, you can do a compass, all sorts of things that might help you for some of the shapes on. Or you can just draw it freehand, which I think is what I'm gonna do, at least to start it out. We're gonna start with a big, huge rectangle. Uh, maybe, maybe like two fingers uh, on the side that you can kind of add the border. Go through that real quick. All right, nice, that looks good. I'm actually really surprised that I did not do or have not done this project before as much of a basketball fan, but I have to give a shout out to Mr. Calvert. Um, his class and students use this as since a March Madness um, and during around tournament time, it's a great project for doing that and decorating. So shout out to him, a fellow Wisconsin teacher on there, gave me the idea and inspiration to do this. Um, I love basketball court designs and Project Backboard is one that he used. Um, they do a whole bunch of different custom designs and quartz all throughout the world. So the next part that I am going to do, I'm going to try to split this as much as I can right down the middle here. So we got kind of half on one side, half on the other side. You can do a circle in the middle. You can do a small one or a big one. I'm just doing a little one on one side. And then I want to have my three point line. That's going to kind of arch on one side and arch on the other side. I feel like it looks a little bit more realistic if your three point line kind of stretches straight first so try to make it symmetrical or even on both sides and then arches across on there again i start out really really lightly and then i can always go over it a little bit darker after that point i'm going to try to do that same thing on the other side okay that's looking pretty good and pretty even now i'm going to do with kind of the free throw lines and in the in the paint which is what they call it in the middle this one kind of goes straight for where they line up and then curves towards the top here sometimes there's a full circle in here but this one will just kind of go out and then come back should be about even on both sides so i'm going to try to even this up We're moving along here quick. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That's the easiest way to get all my free fun videos coming out every single week. Now let's get back to our court. Nice, and then do our free throw. Right when this kind of starts to turn, you want to do your line right across. Line right across here. There we go. And then we got to do our basketball hoop, of course. I'm just going to do a straight line with a really skinny and a rectangle and then a circle in front of that a nice I like that of course you can always add as many different things as you want on there you can do the lines of the paint you can do something else in the middle you can do bleachers or like chairs on the sidelines this is basically your coloring sheet now you can design and decorate however that you want I'll show you a whole bunch of cool there's so many awesome and fantastic types of courts that I've seen around the country around the world for that fact um, obviously being a Bucks fan I've seen a couple um, really cool Giannis uh, different courts that have designed back in his homeland of Greece um, but then of course the Bucks the favorite one of mine by Robert um, Indiana had the kind of Mecca design and one of the first really artists to create the design. But nowadays in the basketball, the courts are really, really taken um, on a life of their own and having even multiple courts between different NBA teams. There's a bunch of different ideas. Um, you can just have some fun with it too. It doesn't have to really do anything with basketball. Fun, creative, cool design inspired. Maybe I'll do an art one. Okay, so I definitely like it now. Now it really does look like a coloring sheet. I'm gonna do some magical powers with my ball here and let's see if we can happen just like... BAM! Um, there it is, and double BAM! 
bonus project. All right, look at that. So I got two different ones. Of course, I had to do an art-themed one. Had the little color wheel in the middle, sponsored by YouTube, I guess would be my court sponsor. And then, of course, I had to just do a Bucks one. Uh, Bucks inspired, had the little Milwaukee on the side. Tried to do like an M and kind of a W. Kind of smushed together uh, with the Bucks colors and had my rainbow colors over here. So overall, had a blast with this one. So as always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel, and we'll talk to you guys later.